All right, welcome to the birth vlog. I did not have the baby yet. I'm still very pregnant. Her due date is tomorrow. So today is September 25th, and I figured I'd start the vlog now. Um, basically, last time I saw you, I said we were gonna schedule an induction for her due date, but it turns out they were really booked this week, so we couldn't book an induction until the 29th, which is Friday. However, I'm really manifesting that she'll come on her due date, or Matt's birthday, which is Wednesday the 27th. Um, we do have an appointment today, and I'm gonna have her do a cervical check and a membrane sweep, and I'm really hoping that will induce me into labor tonight. So that's what I'm manifesting. So right now it's Monday morning on the 25th, and like I said, it's Matt's birthday on the 27th. So I decided to surprise him this morning with all his gifts um, in hopes that we'll be in the hospital on his birthday. So he's at the gym and he should be back like any second. So I set this up. Since it's his 30th, I decided to do 30 gifts for his 30th. And I'm really excited to surprise him. And here is the setup. Did all black and white vibes. And yeah, I don't think he has any idea. I've been like waiting all month <laughs> to set this up and when to do it. These balloons, I was like really worried about blowing them up, but I got them up. But yeah, he should be back any second and I'll try to get his reaction. But I was excited to do this because obviously a lot of attention has been on me and the baby and it will be. So I want him to make sure he feels appreciated too because I could obviously could not have gone through this pregnancy without him like first trimester and like feeding me and serving me and everything and just in general I know I'll really need his support so this came at a really good time to show that he's appreciated too and it's not just about me and the baby. <laughs> gifts secretly. Well, first let me take a picture of you next to it. All right, this is funny because that's like the best pumpkin beer. Okay, I have stories about like all the gifts. All right, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> It's a few hours later, he opened up most of his gifts and we had to go to the doctor's appointment, which I'll update you on. But he was surprised. Super right? thoughtful yeah. for the good gifts. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, he opened up most of them, um, but he's trying not to go through them too fast. I want to savor them through my birthday if I can, if we're still here. Yeah, we're <laughs> hoping that the baby comes on his birthday, so manifesting. And I'll take him on the appointment. <laughs> So yeah, I had the appointment today. Unfortunately, I'm still just one centimeter dilated, a softer cervix, which isn't much progress from last Wednesday, which is super frustrating. But she did another membrane sweep and it was a lot more aggressive than the last one. So I'm really hoping that it does something. Um, and my sister and I are about to go right now to get some foot massages. So yeah, I'm just you now we just kind of wait around and see. So yeah, I just did my makeup because we're supposed to be going in for an induction tonight, which means she obviously did not come on her due date, which was the 26th, or Matt's birthday, which was the 27th. We really, really thought she was going to come because I got the membrane sweeps, got the foot massage, then on my stability ball, like literally doing everything to get her out walking, and she's just way too cozy. So thank goodness we had the induction booked. However... I just called because they scheduled it for 6 p.m. on Friday and they said to call two hours before to confirm the time and that was that phone call just now and they said no beds available so they'll call me when something becomes available which will hopefully be tonight and as you can imagine we're super antsy so yeah we don't know what to do with ourselves we're gonna go we're gonna drop Paisley off at Matt's parents house on the way to the hospital because they'll be watching her. Um, so we figured we'll just go there for dinner at this point and have some pizza, because that's uh, like what my last meal is gonna be, because who knows when I'll eat again, because we obviously can't eat during labor. 
but I really, really hope they can just take me tonight because we're like so ready and it's super stressful. But yeah, that's the update. She didn't come. She's going to hear about it every single birthday, how she made me wait and the anticipation. Not just me, but for everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I'll update you guys, obviously, throughout the process. All right, it's a few hours later. I just took all my makeup off because we are back in bed. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we went to his parents and had pizza because, you know, we were just like waiting for that phone call. They didn't call, of course, so at eight o'clock, or actually like 7.30, I called asking what the deal was. They're still busy and said it at most likely won't be till tomorrow morning at this point. I told her to still call me in the middle of the night if anything opens up, but if not, I'm gonna call at 7 a.m. and try to get there in the morning. So now we're just gonna get cozy in bed, watch Love is Blind and try to get some sleep. So it is actually now almost 4.30 a.m. and I'm back to arranging my makeup. Um, because they called about 15 minutes ago saying to be here at 5 a.m., which is no problem because we live like not even 15 minutes away. So I am waking myself up, getting ready, and then we are heading to the hospital. It was actually really good timing because I ended up passing out at 9.30. Surprisingly, like, you know, you never know if you're gonna just toss and turn all night, but I was like, passed out and then I woke up at 3 15 to go to the bathroom and could not fall asleep so thank god they called at 4 um, or else I would have been just tossing and turning up until 7 a.m when I could have called them and I'm actually surprised they called like I thought they would have just left it to the 7 a.m shift to see me so I'm super happy about that you ready to go ready to go <laughs> I have to be got your comfy dad fit on yep Here's your new dad shoes and your birthday suit. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I got him that he's wearing is for his birthday. All right, let's do it. Let's have let's a baby. <laughs> Are you ready, Mom? Yeah, next time we come back, we'll be bringing a baby. She'll be... Uh, Get that like. right here. <laughs> yeah. With the baby afoot. <laughs> All right, so we're at the hospital, September 30th, 6.30 a.m. <laughs> got the call at 4 a.m. that they're ready to see us at 5, so we got here as soon as we could. Mom's in bed, we got her intake, all hooked up on the IV. Yeah. Perfect. How are you feeling? Ready, I'm already contracting, so that's good, without any drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it should be smooth, because I'm already having contractions but now we just have to wait for the doctor to come in at 7 which is in 30 minutes so we're just gonna chill and relax until the doctor comes <laughs> all right see you soon <laughs> okay it's now nine a little after 9 a.m. and at like 7 30 a.m. the doctor came and it gave me Cervidil so that's like a pill attached to a string and it's supposed to stay in you for 12 hours they say. Um, she said I was like between one and two centimeters dilated, which I'm surprised <laughs> I did not progress at all from Monday after everything I did this week. Um, and she said I was about 50% effaced. So we're gonna be waiting here for a while because after the Cervidil is when they start the Pitocin, which like, you know, starts your actual induction. Um, so that, yeah, they just provided breakfast. So here's my gluten-free tray. It's like a little parfait thing. It's this piece of gluten-free bread. And then he has his tray. Got a croissant. <laughs> and then um, we bought our fire sticks for watching Love is Blind. All right, so it's 10-16, September 30th. <laughs> finally on the epidural <laughs> so yeah I mean I haven't updated in a while I guess after she took out the Cervidil that was at like 8 o'clock and um, like I 
definitely started having strong contractions on it to the point where like I had to stop talking and breathe through them so at that point I knew like once I got the Pitocin I would want to be on the list for the epidural which I'm really happy about because she took it out at eight and then I got the Pitocin um and then at nine they gave me the epidural and that was like one of the worst parts because like you have to be in such a crouch position and it was really hard my body started like shaking like crazy and it's hard I'm not flexible and also it's hard to do in your with your belly so that was sucky but I'm happy that's done and now it's already past 10 so I'm gonna try to sleep it's just sucky being like hooked up to everything <laughs> and tired oh, also at the when she took out the pill <laughs> When she took out the pill, I was three centimeters dilated and 80% effaced, which is good progress. Um, that's when they gave me the Pitocin. But it looks like she'll be born in October. Right? Right. <laughs> Anything else? No, I'm tired. He's doing a good job. <laughs> He's doing good. Cheering me on. Hasn't passed out yet. I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say to her? She's upset. She's trying to look at me. <laughs> what do you have to say to her? She's put me through a lot. <laughs> I'm still shaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's tired too. Yeah. Hi. Oh, she looks hungry, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What? She's sleeping. <laughs> oh. Now we gotta name you. <laughs> She was crying until daddy took her. <laughs> there, he's got to find a name for her. Yeah. All right, we made it to the next stop, which is, what room is this? Like the... Mother baby room? Yeah. I'm like so delirious. I'll have to talk about it later. <laughs> but he's going to try some skin to skin with her. She loves to sleep. She's, She's a big so girly. Good. And we still don't know what to name her. We're between Madison and Charlotte. <laughs> and I'm gonna we wanna like put her in a little outfit to get what vibe she's looking like. Cause we can't decide. Aww. But she's so cute. Aww. <laughs> she makes the funniest faces. <laughs> you wanna take her shirt off? I'm gonna get shamed for this somehow. I, uh, it's my first time ever changing a baby shirt. And just show them that card. October 1st, she was born. We named her Mosca. At 4.52 a.m. Pushed her out three hours. <laughs> Nine pound, seven ounce baby. Did not expect that. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put it on my skin real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, she's trying to latch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't laugh at her. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. 
<laughs> and relaxed. <laughs> Did you want to try sitting with her or? You mute for a second. Yeah. <laughs> she likes when you say shh. <laughs> she really likes that. Yeah. I'm not mommy. <laughs> Can I actually see how big she is from here with her <laughs> neck rolls? <laughs> Baby's first outfit change, trying to get an idea of what her name's going to be, so we want to get her sense of style. But she's so tired, we just put her in this, and she's already passed right now. All you have to say is shh and rub her cheek. <laughs> you love to sleep like Paisley. You want to give her a kiss? It's <laughs> hard to bend down. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's crazy how she can go from just like screaming in my arms to pass out in a second. Yeah. She likes to sleep like her sister. Your camera knows it's an infant. What does it say? It said like infant. Weird. Come in. Hello. Uh, Congratulations. There we are. Uh, <laughs> see those eyes. Well, she's a October baby with you. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Aunt Lily. Yeah, on <laughs> camera. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> disabled. Uh, like uh, uh, <laughs> 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 right, 10 p.m. on her birthday still. Daddy has his jet scheme on. <laughs> Jets vs. Chiefs, Sunday night football. You can relax. Any girl brought some good luck to the Jets, they look good. Yeah, relax after a long day. And she actually ended up getting some jaundice, so she has to stay in here tonight, which is sad because we like holding her. But luckily, this happened when we're here and not later on. And I'm just very proud of her because she's been a good girl at breastfeeding and latching. But yeah, otherwise she'll be in here for t for tonight. So hopefully her it's just one night and then she feels better. It's <laughs> <Good> touchdown. <laughs> All right, now it's Monday, October second. Just after lunch, she's been doing her phototherapy. Jaundice is on track. She's all ready for her little photo shoot. <laughs> all right, you ready for your shoot? She really likes to suck, so <laughs> she just fed, and now she's waiting to do her shoot. Daddy gave her some formula. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. Burp her for the first time. Because with the jaundice, they have me breastfeeding her and then topping it off with formula uh, for the jaundice, and she's on track to be done in the phototherapy by 4 p.m. today, so manageable. <laughs> Give her a kiss on the temple. Mm -hmm. Like right here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think she might be a little hungry still. Okay. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Alright, mom. Yeah. I'm gonna have you. Okay, she's gonna go right 
You have that, such a good like shushing voice, it's like they have it on YouTube too. Yeah. I'm just going to check the lighting. Oh, Those are cute. Amazing. Okay, so chin up the tiny bit. Am I looking down at her? So or? first one, eyes closed, like looking down. Okay. And then the next one you're going to open. Okay. Good luck getting that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Beautiful, one more. And then look at me. Aww. Gorgeous. Oh my god, one more, one more. She's so cute. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have you give her a kiss. Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay, perfect. Okay, she did great for her photo shoot, and now it's finally time to finish the birth certificate. We They gave it to us when we were admitted, and we filled out everything except for her name, because like I said, we were between Madison and Charlotte, and yesterday we said we were going to try out Madison, and I think we're just going to stick with that. Um, so that's what Dad's doing right now, officially signing her name as Madison. This would be the official one. This yeah. Is like a fun yeah. Madison Diane Mosca. Diane, it was my mom's name. Um, so you're 21 inches, right? Yeah. 21 inches, 9 pounds, 7 ounces. Correct. A big girly. This is the official one. <laughs> That's it. Back in her phototherapy until the afternoon. And then she should be good. And then her great grandparents are going to come visit. Also, she all of a sudden really liked to suck her pacifier. Um, I mean, it's calming her down right now, so that's good. And she's content. <laughs> they both film each other. <laughs> There's great grandma and great grandpa. Oh. Look at that little cutie. But congratulations. Nice. Adorable. Oh, oh, look at the baby. Wow, look at the oh, baby. Oh my god. Everybody look at the baby. Oh yeah, look at the baby. Oh, I just... Great grandma. The thing is orange. <laughs> orange. Getting her tan That's on today nice in her tanning bed. Wild, huh? <laughs> wow. Well, let me move this. <laughs> you never fell out of form. Look at that. Look at that. Are you riding a bike? Alright, finally time to go home. Now Tuesday, October 3rd, 11 a.m. Hey. <laughs> Ready to go home and meet Paisley? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, time to go you home. Can we take one of the three of you before you go? Uh, we walk. Yeah, you good? Good luck to you. Okay? Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Yeah. Alright. October 3rd, going home. <laughs> so cute. Alright, we made it in the car on the way home. Just being a good girl in her car seat. Passed out. <laughs> so cute. Okay, we're finally home. Back with the baby. <laughs> she was a good girl in the car. Aww. Tired. <laughs> right here she is in her little lounger. She's so content. Had some feedings, and now we're just waiting to meet Paisley. Matt's parents are gonna bring her over. Oh, yeah. No. 
No, she doesn't. There you go. She's interested. Here, let's put her with you. She's definitely interested in the baby. She knows it's a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, our Paisley meet and greet went well. Right, your big sis? <laughs> and then we just ate a nice big meal. Because now, mommy's finally gonna have her sushi and glass of wine, right? <laughs> Daddy picked up some sushi. Mommy's been looking forward to this for 10 months. Here, Kendall Dr. Jackson, Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. And she'll be right here. <laughs> okay, it's about 9 p.m. On Tuesday night, first night home, and Dad's finally changing his first diaper. Mm. Yay, good job. Look at that. <laughs> nice job. Our first outing. She has her, what's her her doctor's appointment today. It's Thursday, and so far so good. She's nice and fed and slept. Hopefully she stays that way. <laughs> She doesn't really uh, get phased by sound. Oh, she's used to the bar. Yeah. I feel like I'm at work. Yeah. Let <laughs> me show the onesie that she has on her first uh, football Sunday. On Sunday, we watch football with Dad. Yeah. See, I'm watching football. She has some boogers. <laughs> I think it's strikes good. Yeah, it looks like boogers. See how big she is compared to Peasley is compared to her. <laughs> She's officially one week old today, too. October oh, yeah. 7th. Oh, or is it the other? It's uh, October 8th. Yeah, she one week old. <laughs> All right, it's now the next day. It is Monday, October 9th, and we're getting a special visitor today. It's my grandma De Curtis, so my mom's mom, and her great grandma, and Aunt Kathy, are coming to visit any minute now. And she's excited, as you can tell. <laughs> grandma, or great grandma, I should say. Set the baby! <laughs> Sister. <laughs> Paisley. Hi. Hi, Grandma. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how does it feel to be a great grandma? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it. I know. <laughs> you can eat panoli cookies, right? Yeah, so thank you. you. This is my grandma holding me as a baby. Now she's holding my baby. <laughs> Got it, cousin Renee's turn. <laughs> she's very excited. Yes, yeah. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. She's she just wants to be in that shot. Hi, angel baby. <laughs> 
like no one probably got her anything. Yeah, we had like. And yeah. I love that pattern. Because I was like, I feel like if anything, like, you probably had an elephant or something. Yeah, yeah. like have an elephant. Yeah. yeah. I love the jelly cats. They're so cute. Not for you. Your cats are so cute. Lamb, baby. Uh, all clean. All oh, done. Spit up. <laughs> spit up. Okay, before I end the vlog here, because I did the week before medicine is born and the week after, I did want to talk more about the birth part because obviously I didn't film after the epidural um, because, you know, a lot happened. So after the epidural, like I said, I got that around 9 p.m. And then at 11 p.m. my water broke naturally and then everything just like really progressed from there. Um, I did start feeling the contraction, so I had to be really on top of my epidural, but at 1 a.m. is when I was ready to start pushing, and it took me over three hours to push, unfortunately. Um, I, like, was pushing wrong for most of the time and was not being told that until the doctor came in, so, yeah, it took me way too long to push, and I was starting to get really nervous about having to get a C-section or something like that, but luckily, um, that would have been at the four-hour mark, so I pushed out before then. Um, and I was honestly in like such shock and like shaking an insane amount. Um, so it was really hard to like enjoy the moment because I was like just feeling crazy after that. And I got absolutely no sleep. Like in the last clip, I was like, oh, we're going to try to go to sleep. But because I was like starting to feel pain, I never really ended up going to sleep. So I was just so tired pushing through the contractions and just all the next day, I could barely keep my eyes open. Like when she was born you know, all the nurses and doctors are talking to you and I'm like, please, like, just let me sleep. I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that, you know, she came out really healthy and everything. Cause when she did first come out, like she wasn't crying that much and they were like a little concerned. So I took her to the side and was just like caring for her. Um, but yeah, after I pushed for three hours and I pushed her head out, um, she was kind of like, dangling outside of me I guess and that's when they flip over over the room and I didn't like expect that to happen at that part so I was so confused and I was like what do I do do I push the rest of her out she's like you know half out of me right now it feels like um so you know I pushed her out and then they put her on my chest for a second and they bring her to the side to like clean her off and everything and then the um doctor um delivers my placenta which that really was actually painful and uncomfortable because she's like rubbing your uterus and you feel that and then after I delivered the placenta, she stitched me up. I had a second degree tear and that was like also really uncomfortable as well. So this whole time I'm just like so uncomfortable. It was rather fast, but you know, it's just like so uncomfortable the whole time and her baby's just like in the corner. Um, but Matt like was, had a really cute reaction. You know, of course we couldn't get that on camera, but he was just like, as soon as she was born, like put on me, he was just like, oh my God, Lindsay, like, you know, you did it. She's here. And like, he said that like when she was put on my chest, her eyes were open and she was just like looking at him and it was just, like really emotional and I was just like there in complete shock and shaking and I couldn't really see her because like I just saw the top of her head and I took her away. Um, and then, yeah, so everything went as expected with the induction the whole entire day. It was just the pushing that was really traumatic for me and like, um, you know, the very end of it because I just like was feeling so out of sorts and everything. But it all worked out and you know right now i'm sitting and it's really uncomfortable because my tailbone hurts that's the thing that hurt the most is my tailbone it's been over a week now and my tailbone feels like just so bruised and sore like i could have broken it or something i don't know so that's the most uncomfortable part for me but other than that she has been such a good baby we're on a great feeding schedule and like the first few days home were tough because of like cluster feeding and her jaundice and she like wasn't getting enough food but then since my breast milk came in everything's been smooth sailing i mean i do wake up every two and a half hours but i'm able to sleep in between um and honestly like it you know we know that this is such a short period of time that she's a newborn so i like totally I'm appreciative of like waking up every two and a half hours to care for her because like it's just more time with her as she is at this stage um, and it's so sad to think of her growing up um, already and her umbilical cord fell off last night after her bath um, that was just a coincidence but yeah it's sad to think that she's growing up but also exciting at the same time <laughs> But other than that, we are so excited and I still just can't believe she's here and that I'm a mom and that we're parents and 
I just can't get over it. It's everything was so worth it. And it's crazy to look back at like when I was pregnant and like knowing that she was inside of me this whole time. Um, and yeah, so that's the end of the vlog, but of course we're going to keep vlogging as she's growing up. I am going to like keep some stuff private. So I am going to have like a separate vlog of like some private stuff that obviously I don't want to show like her full bath and like the full meeting of the family and just like, you know, some stuff definitely keep private, but we're excited to continue vlogging otherwise.